Well, uh, now let's deal with the next concept called as the gradients. Okay, so gradients is the rate of rise or fall along the length of a road with respect of horizontal. Okay, so it is a rate of rise or fall. Okay, along the length of a road. So that is nothing but a gradient. Okay, in then it is generally expressed expressed as L vertical units to X horizontal units. L vertical and X horizontal units. Okay. In that, again, we have a types of gradients, different types of gradients, as, as I have mentioned here. We have a ruling gradient, okay, then limiting gradient, okay, then exceptional gradient, and minimum gradient. Okay. Then what is exact exactly mean of meaning of a ruling gradient? Okay. So ruling gradient is also known as a design gradient. Okay, the permissible it's a permissible gradient such that the tractive effort of a vehicle can counteract the tractive resistance without much fatigue increase, uh, which uh, without much fatigue in case of a uh, in case of an animal driven vehicle and without uneconomical consumption of a petrol in case of a power driven vehicle. Okay, that is a ruling gradient. That is nothing but a design gradient. And we have again a limiting gradient. Okay, so limiting gradient is nothing but uh, a gradient which is steeper than the rolling gradient, which may be used in restricted length of a road. Okay, uh, where uh, keeping within the rolling gradient is not possible due to topography of the road. Okay, then we have an exceptional gradient. A gradient steeper than the limiting gradient is exceptional gradient. Okay, generally. Um, it may be used in a short stretch only, okay, uh, maybe less than 60 meter in 1 kilometer road length. It is generally used in extraordinary situation, okay. Then we have a minimum gradient, minimum gradient, a gradient steeper than the limiting, uh, sorry, uh, then we have a limiting gradient. On the basis of a satisfactory road drainage requirement, generally about 0.5% or, or uh, 1 in 200 to the CC road and 1% or 1 in 100 to Kacha open drain drains. Okay, so gradients for roads in different terrains. Uh, if you see, then for plain and rolling terrain, we provide a gradient of 3.3%. 3.3% in say that is possibly 1 in 30. Okay, so 30 horizontal to 1 vertical. Fine, so that is rolling gradient. Okay, limiting gradient 5% for plane and rolling terrain. I am talking about plane or rolling terrain. Okay, 5% limiting gradient. 5% is just 1 in 20. Means 20 horizontal, 1 vertical. Okay, exceptional gradient maybe uh, will be 6.7%. That is 1 in 50. Okay, for mountainous rolling gradient is 5%. Limiting gradient is 6%. And exceptional gradient is 7%. So this you'll get in any standard textbook because it is given by IRC. Okay, just go through that. Then let's go through the next concept uh, called as a grade compensation. Okay, here grade compensation. Uh, what exactly the grade compensation mean, means? So it's in word itself grade compensation. Okay, a compensation given to a gradient. Okay, so there are some of the times it comes that you need to provide a compensation to the grade. This is because if you are moving across a ghat region, okay. So in ghats, we have a gradient along the length of a road, okay, and we have a curve as well. So this is required if a road is along with a gradient as well as a curve. So grade compensation when it is required, when a road is with curve, okay, curve is there as well as there is a gradient, then only we provide a grade compensation. But there is one more condition that the gradient um, it should be less than 4%. Suppose suppose that the grade is exceeding a 4%. Okay, then you need to provide a grade compensation. And, and in case if it is less than 4% already, then need not provide a grade compensation. So we have two formulas for a grade compensation. Okay, first one is Okay, grid compensation. I'm writing a short form. Okay, we have 30 plus R upon R. One formula. Okay, then another formula is grid compensation is equal to 
75 divided by r so you need to choose the one which gives the minimum value ready suppose radius is 200 meter 30 plus 200 divided by 200 will come there will be some value 75 divided by 200 there will be some value okay choose minimum of 2 and apply that to the given grade deduct from the given grade okay so that will be the final grade or a design grade which, will, which you will be using and the grade composition value will be the value which you will be getting here the minimum of the two okay this is the concept of a grade composition okay now 